Day is what we call HCMA Day. We do this uh, a few times a year where we gather up uh, the office, uh, two offices in Vancouver and Victoria, and, and come together to take on a question or a creative exercise. Teams that have been formed of people within the office are striking out into the city uh, and are going to intervene and, and try to um, make a difference. The only directive that we really gave them was activate your site. So they had to interpret what that meant. How does one activate? What is your site? These are all open for interpretation. And that is the exercise. We immediately came up with this idea of a dart game. So we printed out this map and we put feathers on the back of these little magnets and had people stand back and aim for some piece of property on that, on that map. Uh, and where people landed, that was their site for the day. And so that immediately means that they had no prejudices about that site. They didn't know the site. They didn't know anything about it. They were thrown randomly into groups. We also randomized the budget for the day. Some groups got zero dollars. Another group at the, uh, the opposite end got a hundred. And so there was as much unpredictability and contingency as we could muster for this. Fundamentally, I think it's about team building within the HCMA culture. They have to learn to collaborate and work together and get to know one another. I think we'll have to see what the personalities are in the group and then we'll decide on an approach. Team 5 ST! They are it's a space that's kind of seems to be pretty firmly connected into the, the city itself. What we're trying to think about is how can we get these people, instead of just passing through the site, to actually take part in the site or be a part of the site. Well, we have some big ideas. We really want to activate the water, but then how do we do that? We're sort of debating whether our project is going to be more conceptual, but we kind of really would like to execute something real today. We're thinking of building three-dimensionally this tower so that it projects out onto the sidewalk. We're just working on the logistics of how we will make this happen. We decided to build the, the tower out of cardboard boxes because we only have $20 to spend and we don't want to spend it on cardboard. So we have an inn, we have an inn on some cardboard boxes, so some of us are going to go and try and get some free cardboard and uh, some of us are going to go back to the office and figure out the logistics of our tower, what it should look like, how we build it. This is where all the action is happening uh, behind me, where the teams are gathering and developing the ideas and sharing the ideas that they came up with earlier when they were out on site. They're sketching, they're, they're working three-dimensionally, they're talking, they're debating, and you know it's a very intensive and quick and rapid design process. And it really does mirror what we do, but in a much more uh, concentrated and intensive fashion. Sometimes with the pressure of, of the moment and, and a very, very quick exercise, you have no choice but to really get to the point and really distill out the strength of the idea. And that's what's happening here and it's really exciting because, you know, of course we're a firm full of very creative people and passionate people. And the energy that comes from putting it all together like this is really quite phenomenal and quite inspiring for all of us. And uh, really, really looking forward to seeing what happens uh, later this afternoon when everybody goes back out onto the street and um, implements uh, what they've come up with. We're at the, sort of near the corner of Georgia and Howe, near the uh, Hotel Georgia. It was just about the sidewalk. That whole block is just about people kind of walking back and forth. So for a while there, we were like, oh man, how do you really activate that thing? So the sidewalk games ended up being kind of our theme, you know, using chalk. <laughs> Our concept is like a welcome doormat for the city. Hello. Everybody's gonna have to traverse through this glitter bomb doormat that says hello and there's glitter all over it and as people cross the threshold they will take the glitter with them and the glitter will spread all across the city and possibly the world. So we hope that they remember that experience. It's one of their memories of being in Vancouver. Caution! Glitter bombs! Trying to create different uh, compositions of shapes and kind of interact with the space in a new way. Even a little bit of colour can activate some space. So um, we chose these colours to really pop against the building and uh, hopefully we create a bit of uh, artwork that makes someone smile. Our design was based on a, a tangram. It's made up of a, a larger square and then it sort of dissects into smaller triangles and parallelograms. We were actually making art on our site, so that was pretty cool. Think small. That's the idea. Think small. I'm gonna find all sorts of little nooks and crannies. Make small things. 
Initially, the idea was about this concept that when we interact with the city on a day-to-day -day basis, we don't take the time to look at the small details. So the idea was to do some kind of larger scale interventions that would kind of catch people's eye and get them to focus on the smaller things and slow down. We just installed our shiny uh, new building on this permit application. Part of the thinking behind it is that it's kind of an intervention related to this development permit sign. People walk by this sign all the time and they really probably can't read drawings. They don't understand what the impact of this new building is going to be on this landscape. We engaged the public. <laughs> Several looked at us intensely but didn't make conversation. We were looking at everybody walking up and down the street and realizing that people actually just walk straight ahead and they don't look left or right. And there seems to be a very different clientele on one side of the street versus the other. So we thought if there's one thing we could do is maybe make people look across the street to the other side. And really that's what this is about, is saying stop, take a look at the other side of the street, uh, catch somebody's eye, and, uh, and then go on through the day. <laughs> that's cool. Oh, wow, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. make people a little more aware of what's around them. Right? Absolutely, good idea, man. Yeah, thanks. Thank right. you. Right. We were on the north side of the convention center, and uh, where we discovered a deserted island of concrete that we wanted to activate. And there are a lot of the people there are tourists, so we tried to give them the quintessential Vancouver experience of buying and selling and bidding on real estate. We had different rates, so you could uh, rent it by, uh, by the minute, by the hour. So it, we pretty much wanted to make it accessible for everybody. Um, people didn't really know what was going on. That was the best part about it. So the more time we spent there, the more time we actually uh, could see some potential in this, uh, in this piece. Jay threw the dart and got it in the water. We are in the ocean. Our site was in the middle of the water, right where the uh, cruise ships uh, arrive in Vancouver. So we were there this morning and we discovered a pretty empty, beautiful site which had a very nice view of the city. There's a view of Stanley Park, there's a view of the ocean, uh, but it was totally uh, empty. We uh, kind of identified another species, birds, to yeah. activate and then thought that the activation of those birds might activate people to come to the site. So we basically staged a flash mob of birds. This uh, bird flash mob was <laughs> the, uh, the best idea ever. Today exceeded, I think, all of our expectations. I think everyone had a fabulous time. Everybody was able to take on the directive of activating their site and then work within the constraints and pull some work off that was truly remarkable.